we go. Hello, hello. Hola. Welcome to This Is Your Spotlight. Today, I am here with Yovi D from what? The Chombita Chronicles podcast. Thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate you. Just in case, for those of you following along, she is on the West Coast, West Side. West Coast. Wow. That's what they do, West Coast. <laughs> okay. Anywho, how are you? How are you, Yuri? Well, greetings from New York, by the way. Greetings. So today, greetings. you talk about a lot of topics on your um on your podcast. And uh, she has a channel, shameless plug, just in case. So the channel is <laughs> Thank you. I do. I'm making the podcast video forum. So yes, check out my channel. But yes. Yes. So um, let's start with the simple. When did you start um, the podcast? The podcast started in, hello everyone. And the podcast started in 2017. Wow. I was kind of dabbing on it. I was actually looking for a job <laughs> because I got tired of applying online. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say I got laid off. If you oh. know anything about my story is that I've been working in broadcasting for more than 15 years. Wow. And I'm a media planner. I'm a trained media planner. They call it now media buyer. So I landed in LA in 2013 um, from Miami. I am originally from Panama. Mm -hmm. And Panama. when I got yeah, Panameña, Panameña. And I know that we've been we've been buzzing around the global news around. But um, yes. So needless to say, from Miami transplant to come to LA, I got a really great job. And then that job face out. <laughs> I got laid off. So yeah, in the period of 2013 <laughs> to 26, 17, I got laid off three times in in a squeeze of five years. So tough with <laughs> and it was just survival mode and it was just really like or you swim or you sink, you know, sink and swim. And I just Figure I was like, you know, trying to figure it out because I had left the country too as well. But then I came mm. back and I was like, hey, the economy is going. I don't think it's going to be this hard for me to find a job, blah, blah, blah. Only to be like, hard stop, lady, hold on a second. You're new here. You got to start from the bottom up. And it's not what you know. It's oh, who you know. is what is who. Let me say this again. It's not who you know. It's who who knows you and how good you are at it. So <laughs> exactly. So I was like, and then having that also situation when I landed here from a cultured environment from Miami, mm -hmm. where, as I said, it's like, and Miami is like, oh, what nationality are you? Versus mm -hmm. when I got here to LA, it was like, and por qué tú hablas español? Who taught you? And it was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no. And I I'm mean, like, I've been in this country for a long time. And that never has been highlighted to me ever. Only to obviously learn socioeconomics and differences right. and culture right. shock. And, right. you know, some people will say ignorance. Yes, it's possible because the level of education for people that may live in LA, I'm not saying everybody, some, is different from Florida. So with that so. being said, yeah. It, it's, there's it's certain, like, cities, it's like, there's certain yeah. cities that have a bubble. Exactly. We live in a bubble. We live in an ecosystem. And... Mm -hmm. It all changed it, but I was like, oh, I think I need to mention this. And then for the fact of my experience in corporate, I was like, which I only really, I knew that I had a, I had privilege in being in those spaces, but then I also found myself being the only person of color, the only woman. And I was mm. like, I need more people here. <laughs> I don't want to be 
happy about myself. And also learning the terms of code switching, which I was like, oh, is that what I've yes. been doing for, for all this time? <laughs> and and I was like, oh, you know, to me it was like, oh, I think I'm living three different kind of lives. And I'm like, um, I'm an American or Americanized, and then I'm black and I'm Latina. So it's like for a long time i felt as a misfit like i'm like where do i even belong oh um i will say the following i know how you feel because um my current line of work right now it's a very male dominated field and like when you're like one of the few ladies or women there you yeah. kind of get looked at either the following things happen. You get subconsciously sexualized. Yeah. Or it gets to the point that they treat you like you're their little sister, their cousin, their counselor. Exacto. And you just look at them like, okay, cool. Um, I'm not comfortable hearing you talking about her boobs <laughs> and her butt. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. Your type. It's like, yep. if you don't have the, the brass bearings to go approach her, then why are you telling me? A mí no me importa. Yeah. Yeah. No me importa. Honestamente. No me importa, señor. So, you know, I encountered that. I encountered the sexism aspect and the code switching. So that's pretty funny because... um. I've heard this one. Oh my God, you're so articulate. You're so well spoken. Okay. <laughs> you know what? If you just wanted to say that you don't know how to deal with me because you've never come across someone like me, just say that. Just 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 stick with that. Don't yeah. know, you know, don't like implicitly like insult me because you don't know you know how else to like approach me. Correct. It's like, Correct. okay, yeah. It's like, okay, fine. Uh huh. That's really nice. Okay, oh, lindo. And then you just, I'm looking at you like, okay, keep talking. All right. My attention span has gone in three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> no, it's serious. It's, it's, it's like blink, so... blink, 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 blink. It is. And I, I can relate to, to that too, you know, and I'm glad that you mentioned it because. That's, as I said, somewhere along the way, I had all of these things happening, but it was not as strong. It was, as I said, again, everything was really plastered more evidently because I was in corporate. More oh, evidently yeah. because I was the boss and I had people under me and Oof. they didn't like it. And they made me know that I didn't like it. And then more obviously, my accent, because I came to this country as an adult, and this is what it is. Uh, was it ever emphasized when I was living in Miami? No, because maybe chances are I was speaking more Spanish than in English. Correct. But then when I got here in LA, it was like, your accent, Joey, your accent. And I was like, at first, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, I felt really insecure. Like, aside of all the other insecurities that a woman can have, you like, you feel like, what in the world? But then I was like, I turned it around and empowered it because I empowered it thanks to the community of friends and podcasters that I made. And they highlighted that. And I was like, I turned it around and I made it my thing. And I actually, one of my hashtag is I do it all with an accent. <laughs> I was like, because that's who I am and that's how it is. And mm -hmm. my accent has history. It has history that obviously, you know, that I speak more than one language and an understanding and a background mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is enriched. So that's how I took upon it, you know, versus who whoever wanted to weaponize it against me. But que sepa. Um, <laughs> like for me, uh, let's see. It's really funny because oh god, this is this is what sometimes me grita. You speak perfect English. You sure you're Dominican? No, I ha I said I have Dominican ancestry. Let's let's you know, and I visit the island when 
last time I went to the Dominican Republic, it, it was 2009. And after that, it was like, yeah, um, I haven't been back since. Not that it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a fun time or a bad trip or whatever, but ya to, todo el mundo que yo dejé para atrás, me, la abuela se murió, el tío. Se, yeah, eh, exactly. Tío, There's a transition in your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, that's happen, that happens to me too. I don't have that many relatives in, in Panama, actually. A lot of my family had the fort you know, the privilege and the opportunity that they migrated to this country, but I'm talking about almost mm -hmm. late 60s, 70s, and mm -hmm. it's, it's always funny. I know that people don't mean anything bad about it, but sometimes it's like the assumption is like, oh, you're going back to Panama. You're like, no, I'm just going to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, like for me it's difficult because like for example because um you know i call myself a pale dominican because i'm this pale i've been like nobody could ever guess that i have dominican ancestry and I'm like, you, you're, you're what you sure like can i introduce you to my mother can i introduce you to my father <laughs> exactly exactly and then that's the other thing that we deal with education it's like a lot of, you know, some people, the, the geography, history, I'm like, I don't know. And in this era, I'm like, you got everything in the palm of your hand. Literally. I'm like, just look it up. Google it. Poncho. Entonces, encima de eso, like, a mí me ha pasado lo siguiente. Oh, la forma que todo el español es como solo como si tú tuviera miedo. And I was, yo dije, pero imagínate, yo no lo hablo todos los días. Porque yo paso ocho horas trabajando en inglés. Exacto. ¿Qué tú quieres que yo haga? Que me tire de un puente porque, ay, Dios mío, no, no me aceptaron. Ay, el mundo se está acabando. Auxilio, socorro. Llama a Conchita y Consuelo. No. No. Not doing that. And then, um, I've also been exposed to, you know, colorism because of it. Like, for example, la abuela mía is like, you know, God rest her soul. Era como color tuyo. Oh, then and, they say you know, the, black, the black grandmother in the closet. Pero, uh -huh. es tu herencia. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So let me tell you a funny story. Uh, we went to New Hampshire to visit my cousin, who was like my complexion, and his brother is like your complexion, right? Correct, correct. So we're there in New Hampshire. At a McDonald's, and my grandmother looks terrified as all like. Ella dijo, um, como tú sabes el buen inglés, ve, ve, yo quiero una papita y <laughs> no, no quiero pollito. Pero ven conmigo. Pa, pa comprar. No, 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 yo me siento aquí. Dios mío, yo soy la única persona aquí, soy como una pasa adentro de un vaso de leche. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Ay, I said, I, 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 I said, and then um, when the cousin introduced me and the grandmother and his brother to like his neighbors, who, you know, were just, you know, American people, um, to not say anything incendiary and condescending. <laughs> and they were like, wait a minute, backtrack, hold on. She's your cousin and that's your brother? And that's I your know, grandmother? Right? I'm like, uh, yeah. We thought she was your sister. That was your cousin. And that's, uh, yeah, well, your okay, fine. Yeah, we'll accept she's your grandma. I'm like, okay. And then he said a nanny or something like that. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. I said, uh, I told my cousin, I said, I love you. Best of luck. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> I, I can't deal with transgressions that way. I just can't. Like, slight transgressions that I just can't I really can't and then only you mean to really kind of if you really want to be like the even the whole own history of this country is like Oof, we have heard it Guess which many did. of our well-known president and our dollar bills they not only own slaves they slept with their slaves they had exactly. children with their slaves exactly and it's like really 
Like really, that's that's what that's what we're going for. Okay, Tammy. All right. But then again, like one of the topics that I really also really talk is not <clears throat> the fact of awareness, but that's where we also be like hammering representation matters. If a kid does not see themselves, then how, because I will tell you, there was a point in my life now that I'm really kind of reviewing, sometimes looking back, Yuri, is I want to say this. And I think the first time I said it, I was a wash, wash, you know, white wash Latina. Like, yes, I was black, but I was very preppy or, you know, the, as I said, that's why I was mm -hmm. lost. That's why, because um, I wasn't, don't get me wrong. I knew that I was Caribeña and I thank yeah. God for those, those stories that my family were presenting, but in the scope of how I navigated my adulthood or how I was mm -hmm. going about it, I was, you know, I didn't have this information. I really did not because I was given the narrative that Cristóbal Colón discovered America only for us to know what really happened. Um, I'm going to say this. Honestly, for me, with the whole thing with the narrative of Cristóbal Colón, as I kept on going to DR more and more, I was just like, for example, Dominican Republic, lo siguiente, en la capital, por ejemplo. Hay mm -hmm. I, I avenidas con cierto nombre que yo me quedo como Why? ¿Por qué? <laughs> Ni que Avenida John F. Kennedy. I'm like, Kennedy <laughs> ni, ha, ni ha pisado pie en la República. Ni, 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 ni si acaso sabía que existía. O di que Avenida Abraham Lincoln. Oh, my goodness. Señores, Abraham Lincoln ni sabía que esto existía. Eh, 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 really? Abraham Lincoln. Ok. <laughs> Oh, oh, my favorite. Oh, La Chucha, Winston Churchill. Okay. What? Listen, listen. Okay, mira, di, dime que Sánchez, Mella y Duarte viajaron de la República a Inglaterra para hablar con Winston Churchill. Dígame. <laughs> es, es, el, es el loco. Ay, the, ay. The, the greatest order of our time. Yes, he was a drunk, sir. Okay. I'm sure he had his beautiful, brilliant moments that once he hit the bottle, he forgot who he was. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. And then, alguna avenida que tiene sentido. Oh, esta es la Nuña de Cáceres. I said, okay, Nuña de Cáceres. Is, okay, fine. Está bien. All right, he's a Dominican. Oh, Villa mm -hmm. Mella. Okay, I got it. La Avenida Duarte. Mi luz. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? Oh, um, la, entonces, like, I'm like, okay, these make sense, okay? Like, if you go to the history books, you can see who the hell these people are. Exacto, exacto. Pero yo me he quedado como, okay. No, pero cuando yo vi eso, yo dije, wait a minute, backtrack, hold on. You know, John F. Kennedy's been dead since, like, the 60s, right? Just, just in case, if anybody <laughs> missed the beat. Ah, chala. You know, so hay que reírse, hay que reírse con todo el mundo. Hay que reírse, te puedo decir que bueno, honestamente, ahora que tú lo mencionas, que porque tuve la oportunidad de estar en Santo Domingo hace muchos años, pero cuando tú estás con, estaba con una buena amiga dominicana uh -huh. y, y estamos en actividad verdaderamente, y como te digo, ya no tenía la conciencia en ese tiempo para prestar atención, pero ahora uh -huh. que lo mencionas. No, no, no. O like, um, For example, like in, even in California, I just be looking at people like, okay, you know, half of this stuff is like Spanish, right? J just saying. Mexico, parte de Mexico, claro. Of course. And you just look at them like, and what they teach you is about the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. After that, <laughs> we just went like this. Vamos a barrer todo aquí abajo de la alfombra con la cova que nadie se va a dar cuenta. Exacto, exacto, exacto. Yeah. And Por eso que también esta 